So this is the this is the finale of the Elder Scrolls Online main quest. We have taken the fight to Mobile in Cold Harbor, and we um, teamed up with a bunch of allies that we met through the whole storyline, and we lost a lot of fellows, and it was very sad, and it made me really pissed. <laughs> but but we've got our our five companions here, and we're we're gonna fuck shit up. We're gonna fuck shit up. That's what we're gonna do. Lord Varen is waiting for you. It's time. Oh my god! Alright. We have all my level E crap here. I don't need Mage Light. I will take probably Crystal Bags. And I'll take Mage Light. I have all my PvP stuff on. Sorry, don't mind me. Um. I don't know. Let me, let me pick some some rest of staff stuff. Okay. Size huh? When Lord Varen revealed his true identity. He felt betrayed, and rightly so. In the Book of Circles, it is written that when you forgive. You set a prisoner free, and quickly discover that the prisoner was you. Consider that vestige. We'll never be ready, so I suppose that means we're as ready as we'll ever be. I love Tharn. <laughs> He's probably my favorite of the companions, though I love everyone. <sighs> okay, let's do this. Your deeds have been nothing short of legendary. With the plane meld at an end, Tamriel may yet endure. Now the time has come to confront Molog Bal and reclaim your soul. You must lead the five companions into this final battle. We are all of us prepared to sacrifice our lives to see this through to the end. Our plan is to use the Amulet of Kings to invest you with the power to do battle with the Daedric Prince. No doubt the God of Schemes has rallied his most powerful servants to his side, but his arrogance has already proven to be his undoing. He may not even consider you a threat. We shall endeavor to prove him utterly, catastrophically wrong. Yeah. Ready to get stuck. Oh man! Oh man! Look, we're gonna do it. All right. Again, if if the frames drop or it looks crappy, let me know and I'll try to fix it. Okay. Right. My phone it looks awful, but it might just be my phone. No spoilers. I have not done the main, the main quest before, so. I'll never get used to this place. Come here, Vestige. I'd like a word before we skip off merrily to our doom. Don't you have a little party? I talked to everyone first. Here we are, Vestige, in the belly of the beast. And each of us carries within us an oblivion of his own making. No matter how this ends, I'm proud of how far we've come and what we've accomplished. Courage, my friend. That is the most important of all virtues. Courage is not a lack of fear. Rather, it is the realization that there are things more important than fear. The time is at hand. Stop second-guessing yourself. Stop questioning your resolve. Just stand up and do it. You're ready. This is it. The beginning of the blasted end. 
There's no point in pretending this isn't happening, or saying we're not ready. This challenge will not wait. Can you do what is necessary, no matter the cost? No matter how much it grieves you? Well, the ball has my soul. Is there a choice? There is always a choice. But you don't get to choose what is true. You only get to choose what you will do about it. Do you need a reminder about what lies ahead? Let's, let's refresh our memories. It's been like a month. We are approaching the fortress of Molag Baal, perhaps the most dangerous place in all of Oblivion. Together, we five are mighty. Even I will admit that. But I cannot invoke the ritual until we are in the presence of the Dark Prince himself. Go on. In exchange for this investiture of power, one of your companions will need to be sacrificed. It will be for you to decide which when the time comes. The infusion of power will not last for long. That's why we need to get close. And then what? I've no idea what will happen to you. Apotheosis? Disintegration? Too many unknowns and not enough information. But if you defeat Molag Baal and survive, your soul and the soul of every other surviving vestige should be restored. Okay, let's do this. Alright, first, uh, I think I left Master Merchant on, and that kind of. Yeah, we're gonna turn all of this off. I don't need to sell stuff right now, and it's huge. Ooh, a memory sink. Reload our UI. So turn some things on and turn some things off. <sighs> now you might have noticed I don't have the music on. I used to have the music on. But I actually really like the ambient sound. They did the this team who did sound. Who does the sounds for um, Yes, sir, did a great job, so. Here we are, Vestige, in the belly of the beast. And each of us carries within us an oblivion of his own making. Alright, so I am... Okay, so I believe this dungeon scales to my level, and I'm veteran rank 5. Hmm. But I have, um... have very under level gear. My gear is VR2. And um, my destruction staff is veteran rank 1, but it is the um, the weapon blessed by Meridia that you get as a reward for completing the fighter's quest line. And I feel like that is the weapon that Malugbal should be defeated with. And so that's the one I'm going to use, even though it's probably way underpowered. So I'll probably be relying mostly on spells. Probably. Oh, wait, I didn't want to take off this junk. I wanted to. Oh, well. I have plenty of inventory space. Look how beautiful Cold Harbor is. I love the Cold Harbor zone. Oh my god, okay. Moving in, gonna check all the...
Oh my god! There's a thing! Oh, I didn't even see her! A harvester! Shit! A little ladder practice. Man. Oh, I died. I'm so embarrassed. My god, they always spawn, but I didn't. Okay. Come on. There's a portal. Oh my god, and we still haven't killed that harvester. Oh my fucking god. We suck. This is horrible. <laughs> Alright. Oh my god, guys, run away. Oh my god. <laughs> We're gonna be stuck here forever. Fighting mobs. Alright. Stamina left.
Well, at least it feels like a challenge, that for sure. Huh? I love this game. I'm sorry, I don't know when you when you posted that in the chat. I love this game. Oh my god, I've not been using any of my lightning shit. I'm a terrible player though, so... <laughs> so don't use me as like a reference here. Bitch. Down. Maybe I should have upgraded my gear. Maybe that's something I should have done. Instead of using everything that's like three to five levels to know. Like, you know what? What the hell? I highly doubt that the god of schemes is engaged in banal conversation right now. Perhaps we should follow his example. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Okay, so. How's my gear doing? Oh, not terrible, but work is still gonna repair anyways. Let's look at our map. Oh, pretty straightforward. We're going straight on. Oh my gosh, but that's right, I've got um Oh, wait, I don't want to transfer. I have some points. Let's see here. No, maybe not. Oh my god, is something attacking me? Oh my god. Peter's really going crazy. Hope that's not too noisy over there. Well, I can't go wrong with Elfborn. Truly. Alright. I should eat some food. Like, oh my gosh, look at how beautiful this is. This is this is totally gorgeous. 
just wow. Say what you will about Molag Ball, but he lives in a pretty place. Is this a sky shard? It is. It look no. I went back the wrong way. <laughs> All right, let's let's try this again. Beautiful. Oh my god. Oh, All right. Actually. I don't want to take off my guild because I'm trying to level that up. Mm. I'm not using that one, so we're gonna put on Harness Magica. <clears throat> Look how pretty. Oh my gosh. This game is so pretty. I'm a sorcerer. And I and I love this game. I I've been playing poorly, I haven't played in like a week. And also I'm all my gear is under leveled right now. Oh my god, Balefire. Hmm. Let's see if there's anything else we can clear up before we fight him. So there's four classes and I am the sorcerer. There's Templar. Sorcerer, Nightblade, and Dragon Knight. I am a sorcerer. Pretty standard sorcerer as well. I do destruction stuff and restoration stuff. Alright, so let's, let's die a few times. I'm out of. Oh my god, are you serious? I'm out of the fire. Oh, I'm out of stamina, that's why. Oh! Yeah, that was. That was really easy. I guess that's because. Oh. I guess there was. Because that harvester wasn't giving a shit the whole time. Right. My gosh, look how pretty. Look how pretty. So beautiful. No, I can sell it. Right. This looks like a good place for it. Hmm. Right, guys, it's cool. No, I wanted to open the door. That is the most important of all virtues. Courage is not a lack of fear. Rather, it is the realization that there are things more important than fear. He's so modest.
This is beautiful. Nice, nice decorating job he's done with the place. This place is alive with pain and suffering. This must be where Moloch Bar torments those who displace him. It's pretty impressive, actually. And another titan. Oh, and someone's being tortured over there. Great. If it's not anyone we know. Even scaled to me. And with under leveled gear. Really under leveled gear. What is all this? Look there. <gasps> it's Aleph! Marco. Who gives a shit about Man Marco? It's Aleph! <gasps> oh no! Comrade, Aleph never thought to see you again. What are you doing here? Then, then you need Aleph. She worked at the Master's command for years. Quiet, careful. She knows things. Things, things that you want to know. Oh, I liked Aleph. I do. People serve Molagwa for a variety of reasons. Oh, think of the things we did together, comrade. Our hunt for the traitor, fighting the Dwemer constructs. Remember, Ailey, your friend. I can't take her? Comrade, oh, are you serious? Why do they even give us that dialogue if I can't take her? I don't know. Am I supposed to be, like, feel more betrayed? The whole... The Fighter's Guild questline was complicated. This makes me so mad. She's trapped here and I can't do anything for her. That's just... She's totally shitty. What the hell? Uh, I don't even give a shit about freaking Man Margo. We can go... Talk about making trouble. I can talk to Man Margo, but I can't do anything with Aleph. Okay. That makes no sense. Oh, maybe I can talk to my maybe I can talk to my partner. I highly doubt that the god of schemes is engaged in banal conversation right now. Perhaps we should follow. I guess you're saying the same thing. Alright. God, <laughs> I had on the wrong. Um, I had on the wrong weapon. I forgot to change that. I think. Oh, you cheap. I totally used my special, didn't I? Oh no, I didn't. That was someone else's ultimate. Okay. Oh, look, look who it is. The king of worms himself. I think I'm just gonna. I think I'm just gonna appreciate watching him squirm, actually. Check it out. <laughs> you asshole. <laughs> oh, wow. This is pretty great. Guess who? Guess fucking who? Oh my gosh. Our party doesn't even care. They're like, oh, it's just Mana Marco. It's just Mana Marco. Okay. You come to gloat at my torment? Or is your appearance here a part of it? Interesting. You're still alive. 
I am neither alive nor dead. I am trapped in a couch of ash and bile and swirling vapors. My ears are filled with the screams of a thousand nails being drawn. And the pain, the pain is endless. I'm sorry, I should be sorry. <coughs> this causes a lot of trouble. Dancer is a gentle soul, though, and she believes the best of everyone. So we'll see.